What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode 100 here on the Proven Knowledge Podcast. This is not the creator series today. Um, so today is, wow, a celebration of sorts. Uh, it's going to be a much different episode. It might be shorter, might be a little longer. Depends on how long I want to go on this tangent for. Um, so basically, I was going to have a guest this week uh, for this 100th episode couple people that I reached out to didn't get back to me um, so I kind of just had a change of heart and I was like why don't I just do an episode where I kind of just recap the whole story for everyone or at least most of the story about how this podcast came to be some of my favorite moments in the podcast or maybe some of my favorite guests um, and really just you know where it's headed and everything and all the exciting things that we have coming up kind of like a pause in the action to kind of give everybody um, you know an update on where we are and where we're headed uh, but first, I kind of want to do like a more formal introduction. I feel like all the episodes, you know, I, I haven't done um, like introducing myself. So if you've never listened to this podcast before or, you know, maybe you've listened to every episode uh, up until now, you know, first of all, I want to say thanks for even being here. My name is Anthony Church. Uh, I'm a producer out of Northeast Ohio been producing now for almost six years i work with an artist named j trey who i actually started proven knowledge with uh, we pretty much started it as like a label well quote unquote label um to release our music under kind of just an imprint and that's slowly grown into you know this thing it is now uh we actually had the podcast going in 2018 and it really started out as like we were just talking about pretty much anything we would talk about not just music but we would talk about sports, we would talk about media, we would talk about pretty much anything we were interested in. Movies, didn't really matter. Um, so around the time of the pandemic, uh, 2020, uh, I listened to a lot of podcasts during the downtime because I didn't have work or anything. Uh, I didn't have really anything else to do but music and all that stuff. And I kind of just was digging into podcasts for the first time. Uh, and I really got to credit the podcast called It's The Real for really opening my eyes to an interview formatted show, especially for music, because It's The Real, for those that don't know, um, they're two brothers. I believe they live in Brooklyn, New York, maybe. And they've been uh, doing different interviews with mostly hip hop artists and producers and things like that for over a decade. Um, I don't think they've done it in a while. Because around the time of the pandemic, they kind of did, um, they were doing these daily shows. So they were interviewing like three guests a day and they were posting it every single day. So I was checking out these episodes. Ever since then, I don't think they've really done the interviews. I don't know if they're ever going to get back to it or not, but they've kind of uh, taken a break from it for a while. But I was just like blown away that they were doing that many interviews in a day because they used to do one or two a month and post them on like YouTube and all the different platforms and everything. But I was just, something about it was very interesting to me, just hearing the interactions between the hosts and the guests. And I love the way that they dig for the story in, you know, what the guest has to say. They don't just ask basic questions. Uh, they ask very like well thought out, very detail oriented questions based on who the guest actually is. Uh, it's not very generic. It's very like you can tell they even have a relationship with a lot of people they interview. So it's all it's like, you know, the chemistry is already there. So that kind of like drew me in. And I was like, why don't I try and do something like that with the thing we already had? So I pretty much just took it upon myself to start this interview show, um, keep the same name and everything, keep the branding. And I was like, we're already, a you know, a music based brand. So I figure um, we need to just move it in that direction primarily so that way it can actually see success. Um, and so pretty much I think God, it's, it's hard to even like remember it because the two years alone feels so much longer because of everything that has happened in the last few years in society in general. But I feel like I just started reaching out to different people on Instagram as far as like getting guests and things. And if you've been here since the first episode, um, that was Jessica Jones, and Jessica Jones is, I believe she's from North Carolina. She was a rapper. Uh, she might still be rapping. I don't know. She hasn't put out music in a while. I do see her on social media a lot, and we have talked before, like, since then, since that time and everything. Um, 
But I remember going into that episode and just kind of being like super, I don't know if it's nervous, is the, maybe nervous is the word. It's just like kind of unprepared, didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I don't even know if I had like questions at the time uh, because I was still trying to get used to, you know, during episodes, you really need to format your episodes. You really need to um, have something to really talk about to keep the conversation going. Because if you're just trying to go off the top of your head, it's really you're really not going to hold anybody's attention. Uh, so I think I was. It was kind of overwhelming at first. Even the first few episodes, like the Shano DeBoss episode and the Chuck Dolo episode, all those episodes, uh, like at the beginning of the summer. I was just kind of trying to get used to that because I was pretty much brand new to traditional podcasting, like how you're supposed to do a podcast. Um, but I think as that year went on, like I'd say by August or September, I started getting in the in the swing of things. I would go into notes and I would make, um, you know, formats, questions, change some of the questions each week. I mean, if you've heard, you know, the past episodes, a lot of the questions are kind of the same. A lot of the questions, I change it up a bit. But overall, for the artists at least, it was always kind of the same questions generally. Um, but I would obviously change it to fit their circumstance specifically because, like I said, I love the interview shows that they really focus on the guest specifically and who they are. And, you know, if their fans are listening, they want to hear about them. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is, like, as the host – it is not about me, you know what I mean? It's about the guest. So I want to shed light on what the guest is doing at that time, uh, pretty much get whatever information out of them that I feel would be helpful to help them grow, you know what I mean? Like, are they releasing new music? Um, do they have shows coming up? And obviously, like, the questions changed because that whole first year, even into 2021, uh, I remember doing like the Jay Patterns episode and like the tech episode at the beginning of 2021. And I was still talking about the pandemic. Like for them, it was beat making. So it was like, you know, what are you doing since you've been locked down? You know what I mean? That was the whole thing for that whole first. So that whole thing gave us like a lot to talk about in general. Um, and then toward like the end of last year, middle of last year, it kind of shifted because in most places, the pandemic was lifting to the point where you know a lot of people weren't locked down anymore they were out they were going to studios again they were doing concerts again even if it was just in their hometown or whatever um so that kind of changed a little bit so I just had to change things but that's you know what a podcast has to do to survive I think is just uh, elevate and move forward and everything and you know I really just look back at you know how the beginning was it was very similar to the uh, beginning of me doing music because like I said I am a music producer um, as of 2016 so summer of 2016 uh, me and my artist friend Jay Trey uh, we took a trip to California and we essentially you know this was after high school so we had just graduated high school um, and we were both into music all throughout school. Like, we even became friends primarily off of music. So, you know, he had always wanted to be, like, a rapper and everything. I remember being in the cafeteria, like, him talking about he wanted to be a rapper. And, you know, some people were like, eh, I don't know about that. Can't really picture him being a rapper. I always looked more toward producing, and even, like, senior year, I was you know, on the fence about it, didn't really know if I wanted to do it or not. But after this trip we took, we pretty much just decided we're just going to do this and just see what happens. Uh, and it was kind of like that for this podcast, you know what I mean? Because for me, I was just, I was bored with the downtime. And I was still creating music, but I was like, why don't I try something new as well? Like, I, th I feel like it would only be right for me to utilize this time to try something that I haven't done yet. Um, and I really am glad that I did because uh, I think if I just had done nothing with that, the amount of connections that would have never been made, the amount of music that would have never been made because I have really been able to um, work with a lot of people on music as well. Jay Foster, um, Kyle Malik, uh, God, who else? so many. It's, it's hard to even look back on all the episodes and just see obviously like Rome Westfield and people like that have been on the show before. Uh, a lot of people that 
are actually my collaborators as well. But just building those relationships through the podcast. Um, and like I said, I always aim it f- to be about them, not about me. Um, but that is such a big thing for how my production career has grown as well is just being able to uh, meet new people and kind of just get a feel for you know what they like to do in music what they like to do in life and everything else Um, Kyle Malik he's a great example I'll use him as an example I actually had him on the podcast last I believe October or September somewhere in there uh, and then we, we just started talking again because we had known each other for a few years. He lives in Cleveland, Ohio, so I'm like 48 minutes south of him uh, if you take the highways. And he's a great R&B singer. You should go check him out. Um, very incredible talent. Um, I think I discovered, like, his first EP, and we ended up uh, – actually, he ended up coming down here to my place to record and everything – just because of the podcast like we started talking again because of the podcast I started sending him music again we recorded a rough idea down here kind of just got the feel for you know our energies and everything and to see where we were creatively that song hasn't been finished yet but the song that made his EP uh we ended up just doing that months a few months later and it just happened so quick uh and I ended up on his EP and I can honestly you know, I don't want to directly contribute it to the podcast, but it's it's like you got to look at how, you know, you have to maintain relationships and build them up, especially in music. It's like it's all about continuing to expand your network. Um, and the podcast for me has been one of the biggest ways in the last two years to do it and just really to just be honest with it and like I said I want to help people out more than anything so that's just like an added bonus Um, I would really encourage you know if you're a music maker of some sort or even just some type of creative podcasts are a great way to kind of get other people involved in what you're doing you know what I mean because it's I think when you're when you're making music and you're only presenting music to people it can also be challenging to get people to really care especially other people that make music um I think like a podcast like this has been able to give me a platform to kind of share it with like-minded people and have the conversations that I can't have with anyone else you know what I mean like if I've I've said this on many episodes of of the show is just if you are a creative and you're not surrounded by creative people it can be very difficult because you are facing self-doubt you're facing obstacles and you don't really have anyone to go to you know you don't have like your family to talk to or anything um so that can be challenging so I think if you do like interviews and things like that or even just have general conversations with other creatives that really puts things in perspective because you see that a lot of people are going through similar things that you are going through Um, like a lot of the independent artists I've talked to, they'll just say some things and I don't even, I might not even say anything like a rebuttal or response, but in my mind, I'm like, wow, that is, that's me right now. Like I totally relate to everything you're saying because, and like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, I thought I was the only one, you know what I mean? And you just don't know because you think that you're the only one going through it. But this podcast has shown me that no definitely not not the only one going through these things uh and we all face it and that's really another reason it exists is just to show other people that you know you're not alone in this journey whether you're an independent artist or you've been doing it for so long and let's say you've been doing it for 30 years and now you're kind of facing like burnout you're kind of like well where do I go from here like I've worked with everyone I want to work with I've put out all the music I can imagine I haven't really seen that much success still, like what's going on. I really want this show to be, hopefully for someone, a spark to be like, oh yeah, I got to get back on it because this person told me what I needed to hear. You know what I mean? They gave me that extra motivation. Like that is why the show exists more than anything. Um, For the unknown people out there that are like us, like me and you, that they might not be totally high right now on themselves they might be super low on themselves 
and they might be doubting pretty much everything they're doing regarding uh, an art career or music career or whatever you want to say. So that really is why this show, you know, was, was made. And it's, like I said, it's just been crazy. It's been two years because uh, it definitely feels longer. Uh, and doing the show every week, like I know some shows do a bi-weekly um, format. I always chose, I always thought the weekly format was better just for that consistency. And I really just want to keep, you know, hammering home uh, the points that I think people need to hear and just getting a lot of different perspectives because I'm someone that likes to work with a lot of different artists uh, and I just like a lot of different music and different points of view and I think we all could use those different points of view from now now and again you know what I mean so that is that's pretty much like the history of uh, the podcast so I guess where we're at now is like I said we just did last week's episode icon living sashi he was the technically he was the hundredth guest so i did my math i don't know if anyone remembers in october there was an episode with two local artists one named timmy the boy one named josh beacom a great artist great uh, composer as well two great guys uh they were on together on one episode so technically that was the hundredth guest so i didn't feel too bad about um not having a guest today uh i'm going to get into a little later i'll let you guys know about the giveaway we have uh that we'll be celebrating you know kind of like paying tribute to all those first hundred guests um but first i want to take a quick break and give you guys a sneak peek of this new sponsor that will be representing the podcast for the next few months so here we go what's going on everyone just wanted to take a quick minute out of today's episode to let you guys know about the sponsor for this summer cali audio uh cali audio has been around since 2018 they've been providing incredible audio products to music creators producers artists pretty much everyone in between uh shout out to nate baglio so i actually got in contact with him uh, earlier this year he's the head of marketing over there and he hooked me up with some lp8s which i've been using uh, very great audio quality um, really excited to be able to finally have monitors for myself to be able to create uh, especially being a producer as well uh, they're going to come in handy i really recommend you guys go check them out uh, that's cali audio k-a-l-i audio.com You'll be able to see their full lineup of products. Very affordable, um, very great build quality as well. I'm very impressed with the LP8s. So I can imagine the LP6s and all the other monitors are very good quality as well. Um, so go check them out. And just wanted to remind you, we have a giveaway coming at the end of the summer in August um, where I'll be giving away a pair of the LP8s to one lucky contestant. And I'm looking forward to, you know, doing that and gifting the great sounds of Cali Audio to someone else um, because I think that's a really great thing to have, especially if you don't have monitors or anything. Once again, big shout out to them. Really appreciate them for even getting back in contact with me. Uh, so go check them out. Um, but for now, let's get back into the episode. All right. So that was something new. Um, we have not had anyone sponsor this podcast before. Uh, but I actually was reaching out to different people a few months ago, just kind of getting the wheels turning because I want to eventually get this podcast in front of more people. Um, and that's always the goal is going to be to expand this and grow this and change this with the same message in mind. Uh, so like I said in that ad, uh, the good people at Cali Audio, shout out to Nate Baglios. Uh, for emailing me back, sending me those speakers and everything. And uh, August, I believe it's going to be the end of August, we're going to have a giveaway for those LP8s. It's going to be great. Um, and I hope that, you know, the relationship that this podcast has with them continues because I'd like to do some more stuff like that, uh, do gear giveaways, do different types of things that will help up-and-coming creators um, make great material or even better material. So looking forward to it. And once again, thanks to Cali Audio. Um, but like I was saying before, you know, the creator series has been amazing and we are going to continue that. I already have 
so many people that are once again on the waiting list it's pretty it's pretty much i don't like to call it a waiting list but it's like i always gotta like check my running list and uh add names to it because i have people reaching out to me now which is crazy because when it first started out like i said i was i was the only one doing the leg work trying to get guests and everything so it has been nice to kind of have, you know, the show be a little bit more big so that people hear about it or they hear that their friend who was an artist was on there or someone that they listened to was on there. Um, but, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of creators' episodes are going to be coming. But I do want to do another quick preview of the new series that we're going to be starting. Um it is called the Innovator Series. Now, the Innovator Series is essentially the same as the Creators. It is an interview, probably 12 to 15 questions. This time, though, instead of an artist, producer, engineer, it's going to be essentially people in the tech world, maybe music supervisors, maybe artist managers, people in radio, pretty much anyone who assists artists and other creators in some type of way. You know what I mean? They might not make music directly or make music anymore, but they're doing very important things for the music industry and for up-and-coming artists. Uh, so I have a lot of great people in mind for that. Uh, I, I do have the first guest booked for next week. I'm hoping that um, that happens and everything. Uh, I'm not going to just say who it is because I don't know if, you know, when schedules change and things move, that's why uh, I kind of stopped giving like who's going to be on the podcast until I actually know because I don't want to I don't want to do that to myself where I'm promising people like this person's going to be on there and then they're not on there. But I do have the first guest already lined up, so hopefully that happens. Essentially, though, the Innovators series will be pretty much intertwined with the creators. So one week we might have part of the Innovators series. The next week we might have part of the Creators series. It's all the same thing. They'll just be called different things. Uh, it's it's essentially just expanding upon the same idea from many more different perspectives. And I also want to show people that there's a lot more to the music industry than just one or two people and what you see directly in front of you. There are so many people behind the scenes, so many people that have really important jobs that without those people... Um, the artist would not look nearly as presentable. They would not sound nearly as presentable. Um, and that there are a lot of different career opportunities in music outside of just being an artist, being a producer. There's a lot more world out there. And with the way that technology has moved and it continues to move, uh, the possibilities are just going to keep growing. So I really want to get some very... Uh, exciting individuals who are on the cutting edge of just making things better in the industry because I know that you know as a producer that has been in it now for a few years it it definitely was a struggle at the beginning just trying to find people that are not only trustworthy but give something helpful as far as advice goes and you know I want to get people like that on here who either have helped me in the past or people that are actively helping uh, amazing artists and just doing great work you know what I mean I've, I've just been on Clubhouse the last couple of years well technically the last year and a half uh, so I've got to make a lot of connections over there with a lot of different people who are not artists but they still do um, really cool stuff so that's essentially the you know the rundown on the innovator series gonna be pretty much the same uh, some weeks we might get creators some weeks we make it innovators that's the only difference uh, they're essentially all under the same umbrella and who knows we might even try some different other things as well in the future I don't know um, I don't want to broaden it too much you know what I mean because the whole idea was to kind of narrow it down to just music related stuff um, but I don't know I mean if ideas come into my head and you know, I feel like it's the right thing to do at the time. We'll see what happens um, because I really just want to keep, you know, <laughs> don't want to say innovating, but yeah, innovating the podcast and just moving it forward and trying to help as many people as we can. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I, I, I just really am looking forward to that 
Um, like I said, that's going to be getting going, hopefully starting next week for you guys, um, to combine with the creator series. And we're going to keep doing weekly episodes as well. Like I said, the Cali Audio um, ad will be in there for the next three months. Uh, they might be the sponsor after that. I don't know yet. Uh, could be someone else. Uh, sponsors is something I'm going to play around with and just see um, you know, how that goes and what can come out of that. The reason it's working best with Cali Audio is because of a few reasons. The first is they're a pretty brand new company. They're still fairly new. Uh, so I love giving, you know, light on companies that are either startup or they might not be as big as like Yamaha or M audio or someone like that, but they still deliver great quality products and great quality audio and everything. And the other reason is because you guys are going to get something out of it. You know what I mean? It's not just like I'm plugging some company just because I'm getting something out of it. You know what I mean? Like we're doing this giveaway and like I said, hopefully we can do more giveaways and more opportunities for the listeners because, you know, I, I want everything to be a value to you guys. Uh, it, like I said, it doesn't, if it just gives value to me, there's no point in doing it. You know what I mean? I could just talk to myself at that point. So I think that's why this one will work out. And if all goes well, I'm definitely open to working with them again. Like I said, I already love the speakers and everything and, I'm sure whoever gets the pair at the end of the summer is is going to love them as well. So, um, yeah, shout out to them once again. Like I said, ads, that'll be something we play around with. Because if if you've listened to these episodes, all you've really heard is the Anchor FM ad at the beginning, uh, which is pretty much the standard thing. Anchor is still the distributor of this podcast. Uh, Go check them out, by the way. Uh, If you want to start a podcast, like I I said earlier, um, they, they still do great work. But we'll see where it goes. I mean, I'm just excited about all this stuff. Uh, So I guess it's time to let you guys know about the giveaway that we're doing for this 100th episode. Pretty exciting. Um, Well, I mean, to me, it's exciting. Maybe to you, it's going to be like, wow, it's fucking stupid. But we are giving away a T-shirt, Proven Knowledge Podcast T-shirt. Um, and that has on the back of it a list of all 100 guests. Uh, The first 100 guest T-shirt. Uh, really cool. I will post on my social media and the Proven Knowledge social media as well uh, the pictures of it and like the front, back, and everything. I have my own that's for me, but I'm giving one of those away. And we're also giving away a Proven Knowledge duffel bag. Pretty cool duffel bag. Uh, it just has the Proven Knowledge logo on and everything. But this is like a $75 value, uh, and one of you guys is going to get both of them for free. Um, we're going to be holding that contest on Instagram. So go to at Anthony underscore church 24 or at proven knowledge on Instagram, either one. And you'll see like the post with all the rules. I should be posting it up on probably Wednesday or Thursday of this week, probably right after this episode comes out. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. I might even mention it in the description of the episode, maybe to just give people more of a, like clear guideline to where to go and how to enter and everything. All you're going to do is repost it to your story and that's it. That's how you enter. Uh, and we're going to pick one winner. We did this last year. Uh, I gave away a hoodie to one of the listeners, which is pretty cool. I kind of just did like a, I'll let you pick one item in the store in the proven knowledge store to, uh, to get for free. And he picked the hoodie. I'm like, excellent choice. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, I'll be paying for the whole thing, the shipping and all that. Um, I'll just have whoever wins pick their size for the shirt. And the duffel bag is, like, really damn cool because I got that too. Really nice. I can't wait to, like, hold all my gear in there. Uh, it could be you could be used for the gym, could be used for that, could be used for school, whatever you want to use it for. So, yeah, pretty cool giveaway. But the shirt, man, the shirt is kind of cool. All 100 guests are on the back. Um just looking at it I kind of had like a reflective moment of like wow really been at it for that long already like you know two years and just just like I said doing it every week it's like I look at all those names and I'm just appreciative of every single person who gave their time because at the end of the day that's what it is you know what I mean this podcast is nothing without me 
uh, well, it's nothing with just me. It's nothing without the people, you know, without the guests giving their time, which is could be 30, could be 40 minutes, could be a whole hour or more. You know, we had some episodes that went over an hour. Uh, and we might have more that do that, you know, because people have a lot to say. They have a lot of important things they want to get off their chest. And I always just let them go because it's that's, you know, what it's all about. Um, and I, I like I said, I just thank every guest. I can't get to everybody's name right now because there was so many. But just being able to keep this thing consistent this long and um, build up such a great group of amazing people to talk to some people that I was a fan of growing up like Kent Money that was a dream come true to be able to talk to that guy Hayes Banga on the 50th episode to be able to talk to that guy one of the reasons I'm producing music at all you know what I mean David Kim Grammy Award winner mixer master you know what I mean uh and just amazing artist Jordan E420 love that guy um love what he's doing just just so many so many great people um yeah i mean that's that's it guys i mean i i really just want to thank everybody again uh whoever's listening to this episode probably you're you're probably bored as fuck because you're like i thought i was getting a guest but i just got the host rambling um but you know at the end of the day we're going to keep the whole proven knowledge brand i want to expand into different things i want to thank everyone again who was a part of the women's tribute month that we did in march that was incredible we're going to be doing that every year from here on out i want to make more things like that that involve um you know people that might not have the biggest voice or they might be underrepresented you know what i mean as far as music and the arts go and just try to do uh, my part to help whoever needs it because i know what it was like just getting going, getting started, and you're kind of just lost, you know what I mean? So if I can extend my hand to someone else and try and bring them up, even if it's just a little bit, that's what I'm going to keep doing. So yeah, man, that is what Proven Knowledge is all about, and that's what this podcast is going to continue to be about. So once again, really appreciate all of you for listening. We will be back this time next week with episode 101. Could be the first episode of The Innovators, could be continuation of The Creators. By the way, uh, part two's coming soon for a lot of those episodes you heard over the last few years, so that as well. Um, Got a lot of exciting stuff. Stay tuned for the giveaway, stay tuned for everything else. And once again, we will see you guys next week. Thank you very much.